Today I'm going to talk to you about RFID. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. I'm going to discuss some of the strengths and limitations of this technology. The big picture is that RFID, today we're specifically talking about UHF passive RFID, can be extremely helpful in many applications and it is a great technology to use. But there are limitations and sometimes there is other technology that can be better for you. RFID has many strengths. Some of these include that you can read multiple tags very quickly, you can read them at quite a distance, so very different than a barcode where you have to be up close, and you can read them when the tags are not visible, for example when they're in a container. At Sage Data, we love RFID and we have installed many systems that use this technology, but only under the right conditions. There are several limitations that can cause a tag to become invisible to the reader. The two that we're going to discuss today are orientation and shielding. The issue is that these two effects can dramatically reduce the read range, which means that it's not practical to use in a real environment. An RFID tag is an electronic chip with an antenna attached. The reader also uses an antenna, and the alignment of the two antennas is critical. In most cases, alignment does not matter, but there will be a certain orientation, usually when the tag is pointed directly at the reader, when the reliability of the read is seriously compromised. A passive UHF RFID tag has no battery. The reader generates an electric field and the tag absorbs energy from the field and uses it to send a signal back to the reader. There is a problem when the field is blocked and it can be blocked by anything conductive, including metal and water which means that if an RFID tag is close to a metal surface, its range will be limited. This is a problem when you want to place an RFID tag on an item that needs to be trapped. When that RFID tag is placed on the metal item, the metal shields the RFID tag so it becomes invisible. A lot of clients want to track people with RFID tags. This becomes a problem because water can be a shield to an RFID tag, and the human body is mostly composed of water. So if we put an RFID in our pocket, the human body acts as a shield, like before with metal, and then the tag becomes less readable, and in some cases, completely invisible. So today we've discussed these two limitations, orientation and shielding. There are workarounds for these limitations, but sometimes using another technology is the best solution. So there are other options such as barcodes, NFC, and BLE that we can discuss with you. RFID is a great technology. We have one client that has to do inventory checks every 30 days to check to make sure their assets are in the correct location. With RFID, they are able to scan around 3,000 assets in under 30 minutes to confirm that they are in the correct location. This is incredible. We are always happy to discuss RFID with you and see how it could work for your project. If you found this video useful, please pass it on to others.